Hi, welcome back to Feminism on Trial. You know what I've figured out lately? Yesterday, I finally put words to it. I have my own version of red pill rage. Like I actually have my own version of red pill rage. I'm just gonna sit back. Sorry. Why? Okay. I will start out by saying that no, it is not as justified as um, what guys have. You guys have been put through the ringer. You've had a woman divorce you, take your kids, you know, take your money, not just that, break your heart, you know, destroy your dreams. All you wanted was a family. Yeah. Or, or you're, you're a younger guy and there's just nobody, no women even look at you. They don't look at you. They don't give you the time of day. You are invisible. And it isn't because you're worthless. It isn't because you're a, a piece of crap. It's none of that. It's because they are just thinking they deserve a certain type of man and they think because they can sleep with a certain type of man that that man's going to want to marry them marry them and they keep thinking that through their whole you know 20s and I hit 35 and all of a sudden it's like where are all the men well those men don't want you you don't want the men who wanted you and now nobody wants you because you're the town bicycle so there that leaves a majority of men completely alone and unloved and men do want love need love they want families they want children they want all of that stuff and they should have it but they're not getting it because women are spoiled and you know heartless basically so so i have red pill rage so, it, but it's not the same and I get it. And I'm not trying to say that I, you know, uh, am justified to be as angry or hurt as you guys. But having said that, <sighs> these women that are destroying men's hearts and wrecking their dreams affect me too. <laughs> this is my me too movement, right? It's affecting me because I love a man who has been run through the meat grinder by women, starting with his own mother, starting with his own mother, attachment issues, right? No attachment, no real attachment, daycare right away. No real attachment, no, no nurturing, no, um, you know, creating a a space for her young boy to figure out his emotions and feelings. This is what a mother is supposed to do. It's especially important with a young son. Just like the male relationship is super important to the young daughter. We've all heard about daddy issues, right? So, well, there are issues with boys not attaching to their mothers. So I've got a problem with those mothers. And then... I've got a problem with the wives that say, oh, yes, I want what you want. And this is, this is how I'm going to, what I'm going to do. And this is what our life is going to be like. And it's going to be fantastic. And don't worry, I'm not going to be anything like my nuclear family. Our house will never look like that. And then it's a complete bait and switch. And she screams and she's violent and she throws knives and she 
cracks doors by throwing her body up against them because you've locked yourself in a room to find some peace. Then if the man can manage to get out of that marriage, he's still desperate and hungry for love. He thinks, okay, well, that was a one-off. I know a lot of you guys are like, well, whoo, whoo, thank God. Well, that was a crazy one. I know there are crazy ones out there. I'm going to find a good one. Um, you're probably not. I, I hate to say that, but you're probably not. Just because they're just not out there. They're just not, they're just not out there because you know, at, so after, after this man gets divorced and then he's like, okay, I'm going to find love. And then he gets used for foodie calls where women are just like stringing him along because, hey, they don't have to pay for a meal if they just, they don't have to pay for food at all. If they can just keep going on dates, that's a real thing, right? And then, and then you think there's something and then it's like, well, I just didn't feel a spark. All of this you're not this you're not that you're not and there's nobody out there there's nobody out there who really is interested in um family love commitment it's all is there a spark you know what's your income it's a resume these men are going on job interviews that they have to pay for and they're being made to feel like they're gonna get the job so they'll keep going on more interviews, paying for more food and entertainment while she looks around. And that, if you don't think that hurts a man, then you are the one without the heart, okay? If you think you could just go on a date with a guy and it doesn't matter that your motivation is not that you're interested in him, that you're thinking about having a relationship with him, if your motivations are just completely utilitarian. He's utilitarian for you. He's serving a purpose. He, that is hurtful. Imagine how you would feel. You wouldn't want, you wouldn't put up with that. You would hate, you would hate that. You would, there would be marches. There would be marches on Washington. Like, but you know, women act like that's fine. That's a fine way to treat a man, right? Then let's say there's a woman all of a sudden it's like, oh, she actually is saying she loves me. She's saying she wants to be with me. But there's all these reasons why she can't. And it's not the right time yet. And it's blah, 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 blah. I'm going to tell that full story in another video because that's a whole thing about female manipulation and female narcissism. Whew. So then you're a victim of that. And you're like, well, either she never wanted me or she did and she chose not to. Either way, huge rejection. You know, you think, oh, I finally, I am going to have a chance at a family and love and all of that. Nope. No again. Just over and over again. Okay. Okay. So then where, where are these men at about 40 years old? Because I'm 45, right? And I, I'm the men that I know and talk to, including the one that I love, all have war stories um, from women, basically just breaking them, breaking their hearts. And then what are these men to do? What are these men to do? How are these men supposed to trust? How? Would you as a woman? No. Women have been saying forever, oh, I'm done with men. All men are pigs. Nobody batted an eye about that. But you say, oh, these men are going their own way because of this, you know, landscape and the dangers. And we haven't even talked about false accusations. We're just talking about 
like romance and relationships. And they're just like, you know, I don't think it's for me. That's it. That's what they're saying. And you know what? They're allowed to have red pill rage, people. You, look, it's a grief process. If you, if you started out and you wanted a wife and a family and love and all of that, and you are learning time and time again throughout your life, dating experiences, marriage experiences, then thinking, okay, I, I made a mistake and I married the wrong one, whatever. You find one and she's so different. No, she's not. You find out. No, she's not. You find out sometime after the new marriage or whatever. She's not different. He's gonna be mad. And anybody that tells him he shouldn't be mad or he's hating women or he's whatever, because he's mad, needs to, I don't know, check their IQ or something because of course he's going to be mad. He should be mad. And I'm mad. I am mad for him. I'm mad on his behalf. Boy, do I want to go and have a sit down with these women. You have no idea. I want to have like a flashlight. Hold on. Hold on. We need a prop. I want to <laughs> I want to be like let's talk about the way you treated so and so. What did you mean when you said this? Why did you do that? You knew you had no you know intentions of ever being with him. You were using him. Thank you for putting up with that. Um like I want to go and like tell them and let them know I know what you did. I'm a woman. I, I saw it. I saw it when he was telling the story. I saw it a mile away. I know exactly what you were doing. And I'm so angry. But I'm also selfishly angry. I am selfishly angry because what they did on a personal level, what they did to the man I love has delayed the relationship that we can have. It has damaged his heart to the point where he has fear of, like knowing how to allow himself to be, as he would say, the man he used to be. There are these broken men all over the place. And once in a while, once in a great, 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 great while, there will be a unicorn or a half unicorn or something that he's willing to want to share what's left of his heart with. And, and it's like he doesn't know how. It's, he's, he's conditioned himself not to because it's, his brain is going danger, danger, danger. So my red pill rage is that these women damage these men and it pisses me off because I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't stick the boy in daycare. I didn't marry him saying I was going to be a certain way and things were going to be a certain way and then it was a bait and switch. I didn't use him to try to make somebody else jealous. I didn't use him for foodie calls. I didn't do any of that. So this is my tantrum. This is my selfish tantrum <sighs> because these women, I don't want to call them women because they're not women anymore. They're not. They don't deserve to be called that. No wonder we can't define it anymore. These, whatever they are doing this, destroying men, that's not a woman, but it affects, it affects my relationships. It affects my relationship with my own father. The way my mother taught, tra ah, getting angry. The way my mother treated my father 100% affects my non relationship with him today. I 
I didn't do that. I, I didn't do that. I didn't cheat on him. But I remind him of that time in his life. And I'm sure I remind him of her. And, uh, yeah. So I've got my own red pill rage. And I stand up for the guys who have red pill rage. Because you should be mad. You should be mad. I hope for your own sake you can get through that anger because it's, it's at the end of the day, it's not going to change these women. It's not going to hurt them, right? I just want you guys to get to a place where you can be at peace and have some positivity. But I get that that's, look, it was all you ever wanted in your life is to have a family, have, have a nice, a nice woman and, and raise a family. Like, and you don't get to have that. And that's, yeah, you should be mad. You should be mad. So. I'm mad too. So. Screw these women. Love you guys. Be well.